Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Faith and I'm happy to have you here. For those who are new, this is Rakeri and Faith YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe, like and hit the notification bell, bell. for more. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm around. Yeah, she's around. She's behind the camera. Okay. She's trying to... You tell us the stories by yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Guys, so today we have to chat, talk. Um, our parrot is away. <laughs> yeah. So it's me and all of you. Yeah. You're now new wongo. She can never be away. The parrot cannot keep quiet. It's so bad I even talk in my sleep. Oh my God crazy so hi 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 everybody karibu sana this is rakeri and faith youtube channel ume karibisho back for the new subscribers karibu sana we appreciate you we tunashukuru sana that you've taken your time to subscribe to follow us to hit that notification bell and to share our channel because you are the best you're the sweetest yeah, we are so grateful, Santa Sana, for being here. We appreciate you and we hope to Takubamba. But then, if we don't, please comment up or tell us what you want us to change. We'll do that right away. Cindy, to now. I know you guys are enjoying. Cindy, yeah, they are saying I'm talking Cindy too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it uh, too much or a lot? You know. <laughs> what's too much and a lot <laughs> you know there's talking too much then there is uh, making noise <laughs> I believe ours is constructive it's not yeah. noise <laughs> at least she's talking <laughs> and I hope she's saying something well yeah. that's all we hear here so what are we talking about they we don't have, have notes <laughs> who said maybe I put them in my phone <laughs> no at least you don't have written notes I wrote them on my phone. <laughs> oh. How can you tell? How what can are, you what know? are we talking about today? Um, I don't know. Why? Because uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, you need to know. What so, are we talking about So, we were just today? looking for a fun topic. And <laughs> I believe um, uh, a lot of us have been through this. And, hey, hey. Oof. So we were just uh, gonna have a chat here about maybe that particular topic. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, you see the way us we've grown up in the village, yeah. yeah. That is where we were raised. That's where we went to school. While I was chana was kabisa like the ones that go to the shamba. <laughs> we have gone yeah, to the yeah, shamba, yeah. my yes. friend. To be baruas, don't see us like that. Hey, we've come from far, my friend. Like it's a typical Kenyaji. Typical Kenyaji. Oga na kipande soap. The bath soap. So as in here. here, it wasn't available. It was not there. Kuchota maji kwa mto. Kuchota maji kwa mto. Uh, kulima. Uh -huh. uh, kupika gideri na kuni. Uh -huh. Kuenda kwa kichaka. Kutafuta, Kutafuta kuni. kuni. Mm -hmm. um, Kuenda kibarua na mamako. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you unaenda kusaidia. Mm hmm watu wenye wanataka kushikiwa watoto eh eh uh -huh. uh, what else uh, kuna kulima kupika ku sisi ni wale watoto wenye mamako anaacha amewaachia mahali pa kulima na, na musiko musipolima utajua nyaunyu our mom <laughs> had the black one the one that does like this. Eh? That it swings <laughs> like this it, if it beats you once it it goes another round three and three times. didn't find if if there's a time you lost that thing so at i stole it you stole it <laughs> at a tough time there by scaly no i used to steal all the the, the things she would <laughs> and at a time there by scaly she used to like, get things to beat us yes. so i would go and steal them and throw them away and i would be beaten for that then she would get another one and hide it. I would get it again. I would know where she was. She had yeah, hidden it. Yeah. I would throw it away again. And I always, always used to get into trouble. I think now the last one, I didn't know where she was hiding it. Under <laughs> the bed. So we are just saying our experience is like that. Eh? Kienyeji kabisa. Yeah. That to shall go feeling. That to shall go everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the first time I came to Nairobi was when? Uh, 2010? 2011. Yeah. When you're 20, going to campus. 2012. 
when I was going to campus. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you? My first time to come in Nairobi was 2014 when I was going to campus also. <laughs> but you had come when you were smaller to see our sister's child somewhere in the 45. No, I used to come. Kwani you never used to go for trips? Not which trips? <laughs> which you school? never used to go to? I was in a public school, so which trips? Would so that go? school was not organizing trips. No. The last trip we went was when I was in my primary school, like before I went to the public one. Mm. But I used to come to Nairobi because I mm. had these aunties mm. and my, my, my other sister's children mm. had children and they needed someone to babysit the children. <laughs> <laughs> so every time, every mm. time I closed school mm. in campus, mm. there was a choice to either come to Nairobi and babysit mm. or to go to Shamba. So me, I will always, always choose Nairobi. Mm. Yes. Because I will come and eat bluebird and everything else. <laughs> so, yeah. the minute you come from Shags mm -hmm. and you land in Nairobi, unanzanga kutoleo ushamba. Eh? Mm. The ushamba now starts leaving you slowly, slowly. Mm? Yeah. You, but unat, unanzanga kutoleo zile inaitua character development. You are mm. welcomed to Nairobi in style. Yeah. By thieves, yeah, by cons, <laughs> by toxic people. Yeah, you won't play around. Mm -hmm. So now you, you, I remember when I got here, the first thing I was thinking was clothes, 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 clothes. Yes. I bought so many and clothes. And shoes. <sighs> my house was like a boutique. Yeah. And shoes. <laughs> oh Heels. my God. I bought was so I many. Down. Yeah, mm. and I did not, I didn't know where to buy them. So I was buying the bad ones. As long as it looked good to me, I just took it. I bought like the other was the other was for for one hundred bob, two hundred bob. We should get Kavira to tell us these stories because she remembers very well. Mm -hmm. uh, we had nicknamed those shoes Mabendova <laughs> because mm -hmm. <laughs> while you are walking, mm -hmm. you can walk like a, a few miles mm -hmm. and it breaks. Kamenoka. Yeah, so you have to oh. bend over while you. Are. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we have to call them Mabendova. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> So by the time you realize, oh my God, you're doing the wrong thing. So you start getting better things, <laughs> classier things. <Yeah. laughs> you start improving pole 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 pole. Mm -hmm. You know, you meet those kids that were that were not less, letting us rest in high school when you were na choka umo. Do you remember those kids? Hey, they used to come with their own bus yeah. or matatu. Yeah? It had hewa. Mm, they are kids from, they are from Nairobi. It didn't yeah. matter where, even if it was better, it was Nairobi. Yes. Umo, I remember some from Umo in my school. Buru, Buru. Buru Kayole. Kayole, Gidurai. Gidurai, Kangemi. Yeah. Yani, these people are from, like, the eastlands of this, of Nairobi. Yeah, but, but we were so scared of them. Yes, because you're in the village. You've <laughs> never left your home. Where? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Anywho. So you come and realize, oh, Kumbe, these people are not even living. It's like some of our shag's life was better than what the what they the way they live around here. You know, if they are not in in Runda, Karen, Kitisuru, you know, uh, where uh, those nice nice places. Even in Ruiru, there's some really nice places in Ruiru. Um, hmm, which other posh places do you know? Mm, yeah, Lavington, you most of them. Yeah, all those places. Even Langata had some class. Yeah, Langata. Uh, you know, yeah. So, chatupatu apa na watu aburu tu kisema wako ghetto. Tutapigwa. Buru si ghetto. Buru si ghetto, it's not like, I, like Kayole. Yeah, because when I look back, maybe our watoto walikuwa wametoka kwao. Their parents maybe will come and know my number. So, and I uh, will come and let So, you know, it wasn't always the case. Some were living in rentals. Yeah. Only that it was Nairobi and we didn't know nothing about Nairobi. They are coming all the way from Nairobi to our school in the village. Mm. Yeah. That was a wall. Yeah. It was a big deal for us. So, yeah. Now you've come to Nairobi. You've gotten to interact. What are you? It was. It must have been tough for you Why? because um, the university you went to. <laughs> you come from Karangara Day and Body Mixed Secondary School of the. <laughs> C 
we. the abundant you know we we that was a, a district school was it in the way in the way it was in the village it is where i know where kawakaranga okay, is actually that was like it's it the was middle traumatizing cuz <laughs> nimesomea ushago like from bath nimesomea in gishagi hapo next next my home mm. from there nimeenda uh, my, the pri- the primary school ya gava, ya gava. so huko hata tunaweza tembea bila viatu yeah. yeah from there nimepelekwa ishiara sasa nimesukumwa huko <laughs> kwa mawe huko, huko, na hey, joto is dry and hot and there is no cars hey. like unashuka Just and you have cows. to take you have to take a, a bike all yeah, those, like 200 all those times i was taking you to school yes. we had to walk yes from We I don't know for so we used to walk Why? up to your gate but we had pocket money where were we walking I don't think I don't know I think it was fun to walk <laughs> also you know we go while wasting time and talking yeah so you mm-hmm. walk and then uko ni mbali and then after that I came now ni kama nimekuja Nairobi nikafika Embu I did my course there for four months and then now from there Shule ya makoki <laughs> ukatupwa desta university the kienyeji i was hey 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 kienyeji has come from shags <laughs> yeah from cooking with fire wood i get you guys the first the first trauma i had ni kushema i remember even you were in the same school you are not in the same class but kalin ruto yeah. was in that time alikuwa na maliza mm, alikuwa na maliza yeah. so you guys umetulia hivyo it's graduation na unasikia tu chopa iko hivi mko like Yo, when you went this place <laughs> and you know very well your mom where she is anafungia mbuzi ama kuku. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're there with Kalin and actually that time, that time actually that time actually the father came. Your time I think alikuwa DP. Yeah. Alikuwa DP. Uh, 2014. Yeah, he But was. Yeah, he was. He came. Yeah. And out kila mtu alikuwa like way and we couldn't know by the that girl is super humble. Yeah. Kalikuwa kanaishi hostel. Hello. Imagine and you couldn't so tell. you people that were saying Kalin was not selling uh, eggs is it, it true is. she was selling eggs was it maybe i you can't i can't dispute cause mm. kulikuwa na kulikuwa na hapo cafeteria mm. kulikuwa na the shop hiyo shop hizo mayai na smoky zilianza kuuzwa that time yenye nili nilizipata nili, nili zikuwa zimeanza like a few a few years so she had employees i th- Uh, Ama you didn't follow up. I didn't follow up lakini kulikuwa na smoky kachumbari chapo <laughs> chapo smoky kachumbari. But see anyone they were doing so well. Maybe anyone could have started that business. Not anyone. You must have pocket money. Good pocket money to start. So do you think it was a business? I don't know honestly. But there was them kuna ka ukweli hapo. But she was very humble. That's one thing I know. Alikuwa naishi hostel. Oh. Mm. Hey, okay. Na cha ungejua, ungejua ye ni nani? She was just she chilled. was just chill ya maji. Chini ya maji. Eish, ungejua. Mtoto wa adapt present. Mm. Ungekuwa <laughs> mimi. Ha! Musa unge kwanza muhame huku. Ninataka <laughs> one block. One block is mine. Cuz we most of us knew after now she graduated we were like it's you. <laughs> How? Where? You know? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Kwenye una mwananga tu akuwa tu humble tu hivyo ako kwa shamba that's how she was. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. So muache kuona kama huo mtoto anakuanga aki you know akijileta kimbele mbele ama nini she yeah. has that It's nice personality. Just, yeah. She's cool, calm and collected and humble. Ndio tumeambiwa hapa mm-hmm. na wenzake wenye walienda nao <laughs> shule. Mwalimu wa maths <laughs> Mwalimu wa maths ni tiwa mwalimu wa maths hapo. Hmm? Niko karibu na mtu alikuwa na ameona anasoma shule moja na mtoto wa president. Hey, mwalimu wa maths, where are you? <laughs> so you came to Desta. Yeah. And uh, what was the culture? You know culture shock. Hey, the first one, the first 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 was the the language barrier <laughs> <laughs> let me say that cuz yeah. nimetoka ushago tunaongea tu kizungu normal kiswahili mostly it was kiswahili the kizungu was now small one yeah now here it is more of english than kiswahili so you have to 
you know like learn fast 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 to talk like in good english so kitu ya kwanza kwanza nilikuwa na chekwa na roommate wangu wewe roommate wangu nakujua cuz nilikuwa naangusha nilikuwa naangusha kila kitu it's like that for us waembus by the way even even if you listen very well no, that was, the accent cannot leave that you was it don't yes <laughs> It doesn't matter where you go even if you go to Harvard well, ask the right to Murungi imagine he was in Harvard he has never recovered he, he still says governor <laughs> no that was serious cuz i remember that guy was like faith akeli ni check and ni ka heal like usha check one am to until like si ku heal like una check one for like a year uh, or a few months until you get better in fish I even downloaded the dictionary. Okay, <laughs> you are mean in your words. Eh. Cuz now unapata watu wanatumia vocabulary zuko ngumu. Mm. Uko like what did he say? <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> you just have to so I started like learning English <laughs> I from scratch. It. I know. Yeah. Cuz even me <laughs> there were some words out here and I would just quietly write them so that I can go Google later. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Like things like toxic. That was those were not things you would hear in shags. So it'd be like, "Ah, huh? what is that? That is you psycho." Yeah? Psycho. So what? How is that even written? What's the spelling? Oh, is it spelling? S- <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> like apparently <laughs> nothing was ex- nothing was exciting me than seeing some like listening to someone and they keep saying apparently apparently, apparently. so i was like eh so <laughs> at what point do you say apparently do you know, i was a pro in my high school in fact even primary yeah. school in grammar english i got a's me too. both in primary and in high school but my friend go <laughs> ground <laughs> You are good in writing <laughs> putting it down on paper lakini hapa hey it was not coming it would run away english was not my mouth <laughs> so, yeah so how did you change uh sinema kwambia i started studying english mm. online so uzuri we had the the computer labs so i would go there with earphones and now learn pronunciation of words like from scratch that is yes Just as a, you know when when you go your shule you are encouraged to present from the first class you attend so you have to talk you have to talk yeah you can't just keep quiet alafu kwa hapo unaogopa cuz ujui useme nini the the accent is too much not accenting it's not coming <laughs> and then when you go to present kila mtu ananyamaza haya mbona huyu ni momeru guy amesema individually characteristics kila mtu alikuwa ananyamaza and then you start shaking cuz now you're like what am i going to say am i pronouncing it right you are more worried of pronunciation than the, than the content yeah cuz first i haven't learned how to express myself yeah. in high school you yeah. didn't have like much of that true and then you're now in a school where you're told you need to you know to present you're like presenting and everybody has to talk manze watu wameongea lusungu hapo and actually some even international wako na you know english of nose yes. they have this british accent and then you're just there god you're like wait wadudu za back okay yeah so that was the main thing for me mm-hmm. that was the main 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 word yeah yeah where <laughs> so how long did it take you to start now maybe improving You know, uh, as examples well, we don't long, completely though. change we just improve a bit not long because mm-hmm. you have told you i had a friend my roommate would just make fun of it <laughs> so i was like oh ah it's okay <laughs> so nikiangusha leo nilikuwa mm-hmm. naangusha like in a sentence kila kitu nimesema one correct ananiambia fey you improve <laughs> Well, honestly, even me, I was helped by someone. And then I'm like, "Hey, we are getting there." And I'll yeah. be like, "Eh, for real?" Evo. So, mm-hmm. I I went to class, nikajifunza kizungu part time, and there nikala nilikuwa nikitembea nilikuwa nasema, "Hii inaitwa you know kama ni, you know, I would I would just repeat them like in my head yeah. and now say them." And that's how pole pole now I learned how to to talk to articulate these words. Mm. Yeah. 
Hmm. But that was traumatizing because in a spa- in space where I intend to talk, mm-hmm. I would first, you know, you have you first start telling yourself what you want you you're gonna say. Kwa kichwa, lakini now your mouth will frustrate you. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, this is what we wanna say, and then you start saying. The way it is arranged in yeah, your head is not coming out. It's not coming out. Ah, yeah, 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 so yeah. you start saying, you know, nilikuwa nasema like this. <laughs> now comes in. And you're presenting yes. something in English. Hey, not even presenting, even when you're having a conversation with, yeah. with the friends, because yeah. it's always kizungu. Yeah. So and they are so eloquent. They are so eloquent. They are English like, you know, of nose. Yeah, you, you know, you know, as I was going where, and uh-huh. then I don't know what happened. Yeah. And Siju nini nini, and then you're like, I'm meeting my parents later for dinner. And then you're at some point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's so, ex- this is so ex- exhausting, yeah. my goodness. I just need some rest. Yeah, yeah I'm calling my mom. Yeah. I need to get some <laughs> chocolate. I need to feel m- much better because, you know, um, <coughs> I have an appointment with my dentist. And also, you know, I don't like how my girlfriend is behaving. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you, in the beginning, I, I wasn't hearing. In fact, I remember when, when, Okay. <laughs> so, so me, I was having the shoes. <laughs> so my my shoes were well, well, they were talking so quickly. So I just used to pass me, you know, English. <laughs> and also, you know, when I went to university it was this time we had a Mzungu lecturer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you that unit, she could shika nunge. I mean, I just read, I read for myself. Ukushika because kids was passing you. I would go to class. I would go to class. Napata o mzungu, napata stress. Because <laughs> the mzungu now had proper, like now the ones for wazungu. Yeah. So even, it's better a black person. Because mm. you can understand some things, because maybe I don't know for whatever reason. But muzungu. My friend, me, I did not, I, was, I remember it was constitutional law. My God, I did not catch nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I just used to look at him talking like to us. Like you know, yes, did you get that? Yeah, yeah here and yeah. there, here and there, here and there. Don't <laughs> just get one, 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 one. So <laughs> if we were, <laughs> we were to write notes, no, Mimi, I can't. Mm-hmm. I was not able to come. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we... That was, that was interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> because of now how we grew up in Shags, and you know, we have that exposure of Shago Kabisa. We are not saying it's a bad thing because it's an exposure that some these other people don't have. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you now are introduced to this other Nairobi culture, especially now <laughs> if you go to these affluent, affluent places eh, where they, they have uh, those now, yeah, they are proper rich people. So there they just speak English. There is no any other language. And by the way, they speak the one for nose. It comes like this. So hi. Hey, I've remembered how something. You <laughs> I've remembered something. <laughs> My other culture shock is when we went to the mess. Mm. And these children, children, these school kids, mm-hmm. these students, my fellow students, wanna to me a fork and spoon and knife. Yo, <laughs> you did not. Others had chopsticks. Yes. And me, I gave up on chopsticks, by the way. I don't know. I'll never <laughs> know how t- to use them. At the time, you're like, wait, mm-hmm. how, how are you? How are you like holding this and this? So I started becoming an observer now. Mm. I didn't want to embarrass myself. Mm. I was just holding and just learning. Mm. But it's, 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 it's easy when you look at them. It's hard when you start doing it if, you, if you've never used it. Yeah. Why can't I just do that? <laughs> Why? So we want to talk about our experiences, eh? Yeah. With those culture shocks, eh? The way we <laughs> we found ourselves at hard places, eh? Because we we were not catching, we were not nitya in nothing. <laughs> so these well well off children, eh? Mm-hmm. Kids of rich people. Mm. Uh, through your interaction, what what nice things can you say about them, or they taught you some nice stuff? What one nice thing, or many that they taught you? It will depend with <coughs> your parent, mm. 
because some are kind yeah na kuna wenye wako arrogant sana yeah depending on maybe how they are brought up mm. uh, mostly i didn't meet the arrogant ones or well, maybe i never had a chance to interact with them mm. but i met the the kind ones the ones that understood because <laughs> yeah? like in a few wapi i'm like yo mimi nimetoka embu you and they would just be easy with me because even dressing they i had my roommates they used to like help me coordinate my outfits they would be like no he always vibe am i over reacting or at least what to do so many hmm? and they are biting me so what do we do i think we should move oh my god we move <coughs> no let's continue to cuz what can we do <laughs> but why are they not biting they, you why are they not biting you you know i was looking wondering how come they are all over me okay cool look at my shoe my god ah! there are so many gani kama ocean i think we should move should we move okay. to, to pambane cuz Are they gonna bite me? They are biting me. <laughs> are they gonna bite me? Oh my god, they are biting me. Oh my gosh. Rachel. Oh my gosh, they're biting move. me. We I can need move. I need some I, I need an, ambi- an, an ambulance. We can move. Oh, should I call my mom? I need therapy. <laughs> You're traumatized. I'm traumatized. They're traumatizing you. Where are we gonna move to? We can Over move. there. Yeah. You can can post the camera. Okay, let's wait Rachel, for the camera to go. Cuz Rachel is not comfortable. Yeah, I'm not comfortable, guys. These things are biting me. Yeah. And I don't like it. Anyway, continue. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna traumatize you. They're traumatizing me. Oh my god. My Can you god. imagine? <laughs> I'm not happy. He's so sad. He's so this is not a, a good space. <laughs> Why how the hell do you even live in a place that has these worms though? Let's continue. You are talking about <laughs> to look at na you are talking about what? About how you can meet either either oh, yeah. a kind of one mm-hmm. or uh, uh, an arrogant person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I the, didn't the, have a, I didn't meet the the oppo- I didn't meet the mean ones. Yeah. Mostly I met the the ones that understood me. <laughs> Well, even the mean ones, you can't be friends for long. If someone is mean to mm-hmm. you, that means it's over. See you next time. Yeah. Mhm. So, how was it when they were good? Uh, they would mostly I met girls mm. and um <coughs> they helped me learn how to dress because me toka ushago. I don't have clothes. Uh, sina nguo. Shout out to those guys that yeah. helped me. <laughs> <laughs> but i still had this t- taste in me mm. hey nilikuwa nako ka taste yes you unajua kanywa mbora tulikuwa tunatesa mm. i had that taste so niko na tule tungo tu twangu so nimekuja na twenyewe those clothes are not clothing there <laughs> and you look awful though you look like you're yeah. from the village you look umeva sijui i used to color crush <laughs> sana 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 uh-huh. So they taught me they taught me how to dress they're like no actually others even gave me their clothes can you imagine mm-hmm. they used to help me out they're like no you have that trouser i'm going to help you with that a top you know or they would help me with mostly tops and i looked nice and i la- i got comfortable and slowly i learned to shop for myself yeah mm-hmm. that was that mm-hmm. That was now the the the, the roommate <coughs> when you nakwambia alikuwa anichekeleani kishrab it was a kind of way good way of helping me <coughs> so let me better. tell you that thing about shrubbing mm-hmm. mine wasn't much about shrubbing i still shrub even now and by that i tell you what guys mm-hmm. shrubbing is no mall i've seen very big people people shrubbing i've seen jeff koinage shrubbing i've seen wahiga mwaura shrubbing these big big people reading news mm-hmm. someone reads news and they shrub you're like You and forget the news yeah. even if it was breaking. Mm-hmm. Hey. <laughs> But kuna ile sasa una shrub kila kitu. Kwani kwani umekuwa muondege no kila kitu. Muondege awasande taki woi kai. Akia tumcheki lakini we. Yona. Wa wa anatufanya tunachekelewa hapo nje juu ya the English because the English is not usually English. You guys go look for him. Anaitwa Senator Mondege. He's Embu's senator. I know you've been laughing at us. He's a Chamuimu good guy. We have to, a senator, mm. okay? And he's a good <laughs> kind person. We understand why it's funny. 
<laughs> so me the person I met that was now, now that was my boyfriend I met my boyfriend he went to Makini's you happy so he me had this English of a bit English of nose eh? a bit it's not like he had it completely but he had good English he was not shrubbing you're talking of shrubbing hey that one I would shrub like all the time mm-hmm. every other time mm-hmm. I open my mouth I'm shrubbing you're shrubbing yeah Through so he time. would stop me on my tracks right there Acha. like eh, eh, what did you say <laughs> I said governor, <laughs> government. <laughs> I said balance. <laughs> I am better than the best. Ava <laughs> yambu. We have issues with NG, G, and SH. S, S, na SH. Yeah. We have issues with with M. Mm-hmm. MB mm-hmm. and B alone. Like now, mm-hmm. when, <laughs> like when uh, in normal mm-hmm. Swahili, <laughs> in normal, in normal, in normal Swahili, you're supposed to say, um, uh, like what? Give me an example. <laughs> Which one are you even talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about. I think we pronounce Mbesa. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like in Swahili you are supposed to say badai. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but guess what we say? <laughs> mm-hmm. And by the way we don't notice. I'm telling you so bad. Mm-hmm. Just look for some Embu place did uh, accounts mm-hmm. online like Facebook. Mm-hmm. Go through the comments you see. Instead of badai, they will write mbandai. Mbandai. Na si badai, you see there's no end. Yeah. Badai, mm. we will say ba ndai. I don't know why we say that. We our tongues. Olimi yetu ni mzito. Ah, kuna cha uzito. Hiyo ni kufunzwa tumefunzwa. Si ndio hiyo. That's why what my sisi waimbu watu wengi wanasema ngati waimbu ni wakosa kabila. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Na nyinyi mnapeananga kabila. Yeye mnakwanga wa kikuyu ama wao nyinyi ni wakamba. Mtajua sisi kwanza ni wambere. Wacha embu sasa. Kuna ndani ya embu kuna mbere hapo ndani. Yeah. Hao wanaitanga wale marginalized. If you remember last time our MP Jagagua was saying we are supposed uh, no every time you give birth he's going to give you 2000 shillings or is it 2500 mm-hmm. for giving birth. So he was encouraging people to give birth because we had underpopulated in Bere North and our constituency was in the blink of being crushed. Yeah. Scrapped. So uh, we had to keep giving birth because we were few. We were under as you 700,000 I don't know. Yeah, still not. We were even a less than we, we were still under not given birth. 200. <laughs> Now by that to Jatosha please men don't marry our women. You see, if you marry our men, women, you take them away. <laughs> And that is what has been happening a lot there. Our women are married in Muranga, mm-hmm. where, where. Mm-hmm. Now, they are married in Tupu. Yeah. Ama the government itupatie means ya kuzaa vijana tupu so that they don't marry off na uko nje they bring women to our place so that now you know we come in it is hard small but it's it's doable hard small mm-hmm. so we were saying <coughs> we were talking about Adele's new song And so Adele. i was like by the way Adele has a new song <laughs> the sister was like hmm? what did you say you know and her she was like the bully type yeah what you said what Adele Who is Adele? <laughs> Don't say that again. It's Adele. <laughs> Adele. <laughs> She's sorry boss, Paul. Adele. Mwalimu wa maths, uko wapi? Wewe ni mwalimu wa English. Hapo kufunza. Ella, it's silent. So because of that that person, mm-hmm. I managed to speak good English. Yeah. Every time I say something wrong, they would correct me. Mm. Each time And by the way I wasn't used to speaking English throughout mm-hmm. yeah but because we were speaking English throughout with him, with him I realized yeah kumbe English ya kalamu is not the same as It's the not one you the speak same as you speak yeah so I I learned and and you know I got used to speaking English every day mm. so it became it became easy yeah yeah I just managed to but you see if your embu the accent can never leave you by the way it stays right there next especially when you need the good English English stays over there looking at you say mba 
Mpandai. <laughs> Vasto vo. Vasto vo. <laughs> oh my god. So uh I think uh also okay there it was not the only person I met. Of course there's other people that we met. You know we started hanging out with and they they have lived this good life of sort life they don't know nothing about poverty mm-hmm. eh? they don't know mateso but now the nice things i saw kwa hawa watu is eh, they are well eh, exposed yeah yeah they are well exposed both internationally locally they they know much like out there more than you mm-hmm. so it's just better if you can learn from them yeah yeah and um, it's not all of them that are willing to teach you you just have to get a nice kind one like she said mm. the one that is willing to understand you and to accommodate <laughs> you actually and be patient with your accent <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so that akuchanue mm. akuchanue haraka haraka and by the way if you get someone that is willing kukuchanua and akuchanua haraka actually <laughs> and akuchanua when you go back to shags you're like hey you guys yeah. you guys niko na content ninafaa ni wafunze by the way the way we live here like gods mm. no it's not like that mm. let's improve now what else did they teach you uh, one of their parents became my parents Allah yeah you can imagine yeah. the mom used to call me and ask me how are you guys doing are you guys okay mm-hmm. and i felt loved you know and taken care of and when the mom would come she would also visit me she also even came for my graduation and i don't know it just felt so safe so yeah. you're saying and this that... was now a secure mom yeah eh so now you're saying that when you land on one or some of those ones that are kind mm. you 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 benefit yes and they don't judge you no they understand your village mm. life they even want to come to the village and understand yeah. how can people be living like what you're saying yeah <laughs> did yeah. you take anyone to your village no i didn't i wasn't able to go back like from school to just you know a short short break and then back to school again but in tawapeleka i still know them i'll take you vacation <laughs> so those wadudus are not biting you no <sighs> okay but they are not they are not getting inside my shoe though are they no you would know they would bite you mm. so okay <laughs> anywho <laughs> there are so many yeah <laughs> yeah yeah you know i've been looking wondering none, like none is biting you even hey, mos- mosquitoes don't bite me also your shoe is more wadudus than the shoe move. Why are we mm. suffering though? No, because of the light. I know the light <laughs> is lit right now. Okay. So, no, we are not suffering. I'm just I I I thought about it now it's bothering me. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, so you'll fa- you'll be loved by the moms. You they start now showing you a different perspective in life yeah. of life. Yeah. Like what? Which perspective? Uh, Things like It's more for me it was just the, the feeling of uh, someone cares about you mm. you know someone is calling and instead of calling them sometimes they even call me if they can't reach them uh and then it's not like they are calling you because they just want to talk to them they also want to know how you're doing so you're saying these people are courteous yes <laughs> they want to know how you're doing they want to know if you guys have everything you need mm-hmm. yeah do you have shopping do you have everything and uh when the mom comes she would also call me she would also actually come to our room and uh, say hi mm-hmm. and you know you'll find yourself giving stories and she'll be like how are you how's everything how's everybody at home mm-hmm. and yeah we became a family ah yeah so they they wanted to care for you because you're so <coughs> maybe it's because you are friends with, yeah with their children yeah and they wanted to know what kind of friends their children are making yes and i think i was also a <coughs> kind person because uh, that lady she she was a new person and uh, she met me in the room i was always kind to her oh she's the one that you welcomed her yeah i welcomed <coughs> her and you were fresher yeah. oh so i i think the the kindness and the i don't know <coughs> the love the mm. kind yana and we just became a family ah awesome mm. hey okay so uh did you have you know these people are rich yeah did you have one that was spoiling you 
just a friend no stories a boyfriend just a friend that was like you know these rich people just buy you things no I, it wasn't a friend but there was one guy i remember mm. he had uh he had a range rover mm. he was south sudan he came from south sudan and it wasn't spoiling but he used to give us lifts to class <laughs> yo lifts. can you imagine can you imagine you you in school you were standing to make it to get that yeah and this is your first of all student. you left home to make home better yes at home the house is a mad house you, like we are really poor like ile ya kabisa ya chini kabisa people <laughs> like we think we are, people, you know, think, people think we are exaggerating guys, this we will show you we are our house fucking exaggerating anything <laughs> we are still to we are still working on being better and ebu watch well, and subscribe it's, it's not it's not well it's not that bad right it's now not. because <laughs> <laughs> but it's a mad house. There's a point you we guys, got. We decided, I ah, you know, let's improve this place, Buana. We decided to put electricity. We decided to put water. But it's still the Ushago <laughs> setting. Yeah. 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 We kapigwa plaster up and a pile. Yeah. We kaficha ibu. We covered shame. Tulikuwa tunafikiria tutakuja tujenge mansion in like now, five years ago. Yeah, Lakini yeah, life ili tuma. My friend, life. Yeah. Kwa ground. Uh, mansion. Slow yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> to like slow down fast things will come but you need slow to slow down. down oh there's that song that goes like don't go chasing waterfalls please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to I know that you're and I'm have it your way or nothing at all but I think you're moving too fast hey 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 Hey, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. It's called, is it Waterfalls? Or is it? I'm forgetting the name. I hope it's a name of the new name. Faye, I saw it's a name of the new name. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. Before I forget about music. What? Mimi. But there's a rich kid that but we are coming to that point because we are now saying the nice things about the rich kids. Hey, they show also show us dust. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anywho, but they also show you nice music, you know. Yeah. The music you don't know because you, you are listening to the middle. Yeah. Karish mwana yeah. wa Mombere. Mm-hmm. Wait, so guys, it's not bad. It's just what you know. na na bebwa na rich rover. Na my fellow students. Yeah. Can you imagine? And at some point it it, it would encourage me <laughs> a lot. Una bebo na na gari ya lecturer. They are at a corner of the lecture and na range. Eh? Hakuna lecturer alikuwa na range kwetu. Guy. The guy and the lecturers themselves walikuwa <laughs> wako like wanashtuka because you know he had the latest iPhone. Where? At that time. Mm-hmm. And then he was driving a Range Rover. Mm-hmm. Yo. And then he was humble. How now? <laughs> <laughs> he was just humble. Akikupata like maybe mess he would even buy you lunch. Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about when I say uh, rich people and their children. They don't go like the properly rich people. Uh, we are not talking the ones that are struggling. <laughs> we must think Okay, and struggling is just average. You yeah. see, you're bullied by someone who has average riches. Si pesa inapiga makelele, tunaongelele ile nyenye pesa makelele. Pesa yakelele si pesa. Honestly, that is the truth. Mm. Wealth, proper wealth is quiet. It's quiet. It is actually silent. silent. Because they are not ca- going to come and tell you that they did shopping for 70,000 shillings. Yeah, because it's a normal thing actually. Guys, it's a normal thing. Somebody walks into a mall, those malls you see them They have shopped for 80,000. 80,000 shopping. Yeah, was only 100,000 shopping. Yes. Hey, my school fees. <laughs> Someone has gone and they've done. <laughs> they have my entire life savings. Yeah. Somebody has gone and bought soap. Yes. Whatever. And week. actually it's not like a one day. They they are going to come after two weeks. Yeah, for the gonna, same. <laughs> they are going to come after yes. two weeks. After one month they are going to shop like that again. Yes. Hey. Shopping, they go with pickup because you see the boots for the Range Rovers and the V8s and the Prados won't fit. Mm. So we need a, a proper pickup. And when they're actually we... on that counter, you can never know that you can't. You they are not even talking a lot. They're actually, they don't quiet. even look like they have money. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it like is the person that looks very funny at the mall that is rich. 
Yes. <laughs> they don't look like they have money. Oh, it is mm. the guy with sandals. Yes. What? Mm. It's mm. very interesting. Yeah. So uh, we don't treat people out there CG anyhow. And by the way, it's not like they're coming to shop. They carry. They have workers. Yeah. So <laughs> they're just there to pick what they need. The workers will collect them and put them and oh my god mm-hmm. i think that's why the 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 riches is quiet because if they start saying what they are doing mm. the poor people might think no 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 we, you have to riot like we are no. in another world you guys this are not in has the same to be world. hell we yeah. cannot be living in the on the same planet with those poor yeah. <laughs> how do you shop for 70k that is something i'm raising for my child for university for co- school school fees and you you are doing shopping with him. what do you mean hey my god yeah. sayo they have not shown you their fee structures my god they have not shown you 1 million for one time yeah hey and their school they eat <coughs> buffets eh yeah. and those are actually the children that come out here and they are super quiet they, they are, are very quiet. Mambo mambo. you wouldn't even know they were hawananga mambo mambo nywele in a to sent what turi sent sent sent, sent, sent no sent in a tango some sent some sent andrews sent andrews yeah ni, ni andrews mm-hmm. sent andrews turi mm-hmm. something yes. i think it's the most expensive school in kenya if i'm not wrong it's not brookhouse no i think it's turi but that are your brookhouse is got the same range working a is a ile shule iko pale karibu na Karengata mm. I'm forgetting the name inaitwa oh my god <laughs> there's another one uh, along Rongai the banda, eh, banda, mm. eh, banda school there's so many and those guys guy ata by the way you would never <laughs> know there's a school around there <laughs> i don't know even the kwani the school kids don't talk eh cuz us i can school is somewhere hey lazima usikia tukipiga huko tukicheza whatever whatever yeah. but eh the real world is quiet really quiet F- they don't even open they are driving these big cars you never see their windows down like some of you Rachel, guys acha ununue gari you have bought a, you have bought a kavits the other day i'm sorry to say i'm not saying vits is, is bad eh? mm-hmm. i'm not saying your achievements are bad i'm just trying to we are just trying to talk and you know compare notes and <laughs> see how these people behave and these people behave and why they behave like that mm. hey, some people have bought some eh mtu ameenda akachukua kalo hapa nje akapewa kagari anakalipia for the next five years mm-hmm. my friend hiyo gari haijalipwa the first loan first installment hey. na amefungua dirisha zote and life is eh? for the living they live <laughs> karibu yes, a, a, a live, live, baby baby. Girl. <laughs> like uh, the neck guys you can't see it. me not see in. me at wake it in why God. you have to see us these rich these rich people don't even want to be known they don't yeah. even want to be seen mm. they don't even want to be known at wako hapo ndani kwa hiyo gari so they they never open those windows mm. Well that was so humbling to me. <laughs> It's all like I was going to open windows and everything but they changed my perspective. Yeah. Even yeah. if I, I buy a Kazmovitz or tuk tuk mm. I'm not going to open windows. It's not classy by the way. <laughs> you look like it to pop on any too. We already know it's your car. Stop yeah. behaving like what what <coughs> No it's the excitement. You can't blame them. It's the excitement. Kwanza kama umetoka like when mko na mashida and then you get your first car and you're the first person in your whole family I, that has it. Eh? Hey, no, me me I can't it doesn't matter if I'm the first one in my ancestry. I'm not going to do that. It's because, because now you've seen. Yeah. It's because you've seen you, you the, look the wealthy so people. Backward. By the time you get to the point where you're now hiding yourself in the car, guess what? A lot of time will have passed you by. Yeah. Just get these things early grab them. Eh? grab them and just apply them and <laughs> practice mm-hmm. them honestly <laughs> yeah. yeah it takes time but it's doable where and those cars are not cheap by the way they have those gaslers eh the one that will take if you're living Nairobi to Embu you have to you know work like a full tank of 20000 and they don't feel anything they just give the card shui it's gone hey my friend You need road trip sasa to from Meru. Hey. And they don't think about like 
they don't attach value to money. Yeah. They attach value to friendships and how they interact with each other. <coughs> yeah. And they value genuineness. Yeah. Yeah. They like it when you're genuine to them. Mm. You know, you're you're having fun. Oh mm. yeah, about fun. They like to party. Mm-hmm. You can easily forget about your, <laughs> your life. problems. Yeah. You can easily forget about building for your mother. Ukuja <laughs> Nairobi. <laughs> hey, upatana na ka cool kids. Kana shanga, why do you have to build? Why? Kwani mama ko aku utafuta pesa? Ukuja utafuta. Where was your mother <laughs> and your father? <laughs> Now, let's talk about this positively. When it's time to party, they party. These people party. They party. When a party, kabisa mbaka, you have fun. They are not judging you. You can mm. be whatever you want to be. Yeah. You can even cut wheel if you want. <laughs> You'll just have a lot of fun with those people. Yeah. They are so fun. Mm. They have crazy things to do. They have, but at the same time, those people are very prone to drugs. Yeah, yeah? they can yeah. easily give they you drugs. They can afford them. Yeah, well, yeah, they can afford them. <laughs> so they will come and give you some, and you forget about your grandmother in Ushago. <laughs> You start now walking around. You see when they go mad, they'll be taken to South Africa for rehab. <laughs> Guess where you will go? Tako naomba ndizi kwa mama wa soko wewe. Tuko tunajua katachizi siku moja hata. Muone ameenda university, amesoma sasa muone ndo huyu anatuomba ndizi kwa soko. Hebu toka hapo. Oh, now bandizi hapa. By the way, do you remember mm-hmm. those old people we would be shown and we are told by the way, huyu mtu alikuwa lawyer kitabu. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where? Yeah. So it's it, crazy. it uh, you can forget the priorities up. Yeah. yeah, you can forget them because their life is people. soft. It's soft. You don't <laughs> have to worry about anything because your, your parents have taken care of a yeah. lot of the things. Yeah. So and you don't want to to behave like you're not fitting in. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, you're not like cool. So yeah. you you can't hide yourself yeah. most of the time. <laughs> Kwanza if you're in a place where they are the only people you have to chill with, yeah. You either fit in or you just or you out mm. and out means you alone because if you don't fit in fit in you'll be boring yeah you won't have nice stories to talk about you know what they don't like to hear about poverty a lot because it's sad they don't like sad things <laughs> <laughs> and poverty reminds them of the ghetto yeah. so <laughs> they don't want to think, think those no, things some 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 actually enjoy listening to it because for them they have never imagined someone can be living such a life So they listen to they will be speak. like how how like you know like how would, like what do you mean you went to farm how why <laughs> that's Don't child labor. labor yeah child labor that's labor did you have workers or something <laughs> no you are the oh worker oh my god how that, but that was so traumatizing <laughs> I think made... you need to heal <laughs> you... you need therapy <laughs> <laughs> that was so traumatizing like yeah. you guys didn't have water mm-hmm. yeah more running water oh my god mm-hmm. it's not water so sad it's not water. like you people it's didn't water. have house 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 yeah. workers like electricity like you don't have power how did you go oh to school god. how would you stay in darkness you told them you you studied with your father's cigarette <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Three pages down. Yeah. yeah. So so it's quite I'm a lightning. It's, it's it's an interesting uh, story when they come to here. But now you can only <laughs> tell it not many times. Yeah. Because they'll be like, "Yo, we need to have fun." Yeah, we want to, by the yes. way. They don't you, you can't tell them about your poverty for so long. Yeah. Because it's sad. They don't want to <laughs> feel sad. <laughs> they want to feel happy. So randomly they're just gonna tell but now things are better now yeah, so are let's, better. Have let's have fun yeah. let's forget cheers. about the fun times <laughs> cheers, to, cheers good times. to good times now to life being better and faith being happier and forgetting all the problems in the past <laughs> Na wewe hapo kama fala na unajua ushago tu your mother doesn't have sugar. Anangoja na kupigia na kwambia ana sukari. Ana sukari. Una cheers tu. Una cheers una leo. Una cheers siku ya kwanza. Una cheers siku ya pili. Siku ya tatu utaambiwa muende kwa kona. He hapo si cheers. Hapo ni stairo. Utatoka po kama uoni. The goal is to be happier 
<laughs> as much as you can yeah. with whatever can make you as happy no, as the, you the can. The goal is to free yourself. Mm-hmm. They tell you just free yourself, release your energy. <laughs> positive vibes only. allow your soul to enjoy this is a beautiful space means <laughs> i am thinking about what ile kuku did my mother wait the funny thing when you cheer, when you're cheering unapigiwa simu face sasa hiyo ulikuwa ume promise utatumia na 200 askari we Hey, sasa hu, sasa imagine umechia like now you are now in another space you call like damn i don't belong here yeah because them, their parents are called them to ask them if they okay and if they need more money do you need more money for fuel do you need more money for do you need more money to you know for for oh for, for the party do you need more yeah. drinks do you need some food have you eaten <laughs> please take care of yourself i'll just send you my, some money for just in case some money is 15000 20000 30000 that is some money they are just going to buy more drinks yeah yeah and they are going to buy those expensive drinks so well kwa pa umeshika rada ya we all you you know we live on sayo uko uko na chwani Fuliza imekukataza kabisa you are blocked by mshwari. Hasala fanda hata hataki kukusikia. Lakini sasa jumeambua we live once. You cheers. Let's cheers. And then Dala you take a less. Hmm? Yeah, una cheers unaenda huko huko like unakumbushwa you don't belong there. My Please friend. come back. We yeah. need 200 from you. Yeah. <laughs> then you are getting calls like hey so uh, did you eat before you left? <laughs> do you need do you need someone to come pick you? Are you so drunk? Uh, I don't okay? think and drive please take an Uber we can get we can come pick the car tomorrow yeah, yeah. Hey 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 where and did you use my car I told you to use the safe car <laughs> Don't you Sayo wa mlikuwa mnapitana huko nje hivi na mnganya nduvi tuk tuk karibu hata ugongo na mkokotea Okay na kuchias Sayo naenda sasa kuchias This thing is not it's not chiasing <laughs> the cheers is not cheers because yeah. even if you cheers is for the moment. Hey man, it's for the moment. You Actually even in. when you're sad, when you have problems, the moment you cheers and you're like now in a different space, manzi unaanza kuchapa hesabu zako and you could like unakumbuka kesho ukikuwa sober. Manzi, mm. Hey, enyo hiyo yeah. maisha ni mzuri lakini <laughs> wewe Hey, it's Ukicheza. better we start now. Yeah, life will yeah. pass you by yeah. when you're there having parties. Yeah. And you don't achieve anything, yes. but you'll see them flying out to Canada, Europe, mm-hmm. America, mm-hmm. wherever because their parents have, have millions mm-hmm. to pay for them. Yes. Go do those after cheers. Or maybe they feel stressed, they want to take some time off. And actually the things the things they complain about are so <laughs> funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're so traumatizing. Mm-hmm. Because they are complaining about problems that you wish you had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't worry about you what wish you had parents. those problems. Uh, you're like, wait, you you you're driving. Okay. <laughs> you have gone I don't know to South Africa. I don't know where where where. Okay. So why are you sad to start with? Uh, you know. Uh, and I said I don't love myself. I'm like <laughs> What is <laughs> Why I I don't Why? I am not happy I'm not at yes. my best era <laughs> You know I feel so demotivated maybe it's something I've been doing recently I need to change I need, maybe I need new friends Where others even have issues with how they grew up now <laughs> with you <laughs> But you with see people. We said some people can have re- messed up ch- yeah. childhood even if they are from rich families. Yes. No, we are just talking about what we see. Yeah, it's not we are our ground to know vitu ni different. Yeah. Parenting is different. Maybe we even have worse issues than sisi to make real shago. Lakini from us tukiangalia from you know tunaonanga we see what we want to see. Mm. So the moment we look we are like we are seeing what we want to see. We are seeing this perfect life where someone is calling you asking if you've slept well. Huh? If you need money, <laughs> yeah. uh, you driving a car. Yo, they are having family dinners. Yeah, you have very trips. expensive Manze, hotels. Maybe you go to vacations. <laughs> Where you close school, you come to Kanyuambora. Yeah? Yes. Them they <coughs> So we were saying 
um, we left home to change home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you've come to Nairobi, you know, and now you've met these people. These guys don't have issues at their home. Mm -hmm. They're not even thinking about building for their parents. The, their parents have already built. They are, in fact, building for them. The parents are building for these children. Yeah. They have the best cars around. Mm -hmm. They have the best life. So mm -hmm. they don't know issues. They don't know problems. And you, you're there telling them, uh, uh, it is worse when you're dating such a person because mm. <laughs> your mother will call you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we don't have 200 shillings for <laughs> our goat is sneezing. Paka ime meza wembe. Sijui nini ilifanya nini. Hey, chamba inafaa kufagiwa. <laughs> you don't know. They are there wondering, okay, are you charity or what? <laughs> no, What's actually, at, the, at first they are like, what business do you have to do with that? Mm -hmm. Why Why is your mom calling, yeah. asking for money? Shouldn't she be sh sending money to you? <laughs> like, 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 how old is your mother though? Mm -hmm. You know, like, so, so, I so don't you, have to, you have to take care of my mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, Wakozila is away. <laughs> they don't understand. Mm -hmm. It's very hard by like, the way. They don't. Situation in they don't get it. <clears throat> but now, <clears throat> I, I think they don't even understand how intense it is. Yeah. Yeah, they just take it lightly and just brush it off. But <laughs> it's very serious, guys. <clears throat> because now, imagine you don't have that, your rich parent. Yeah? You were born somewhere in the village. Your parents didn't even go to school. You are the first person that has gone to school a lot in your area. Hmm? Or in, the, in your family. And now you know, because you're in Nairobi, they are hoping that you're mm. hustling here and there yeah. for them. So you have to help them. Especially when they are sick. They, they need something, money that is serious. Home. You know that song? Yeah, yeah. Nilitoka home, nikikuja mjini. Mi najua ila ya Ben Sol. Ni ombei. Ni kuombei. <laughs> There's a part he says, eh, da mama, papa, ni mga mba ni ni mbeke mimi, dada, brother man, tupanye kazi kwa bidi, hapa. Hapa nyumbani, sisi sio matajiri, lakini tunayo akili chochote. Mm. <coughs> Unachoki, uh -uh. ukikifanyi ya kazi, na ye ata kubariki ila we. we. So, yeah, uh, them they cannot understand that dynamic because everything is taken care of. Yeah. They don't know where they have to grow up and take care of people. They don't know. Mm -hmm. But now that is really tough for us from those. I wish they can just uh, try. And by the way, it is, such, it is something that affects, that can affect you in the long run. Because if you get married in such families, my friend, especially if they are toxic, uh, it shall lumber you. Uh, it, it will lumber. Especially now, uh, these very rich people mm. or these middle middle class. Yeah. Middle class, that and on a kutesanga sana. Yeah. They say how you they got you from poverty. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Your family is poor people. Mm -hmm. All they do is just ask you for money. Mm -hmm. They are just always borrowing you money. Mm -hmm. you, you people, are, we don't even know kwenye mutatokea. <laughs> and actually, kuna wenye wanambianga when they, when they poison their, their male children. Na wananza kusema ye, alienda kuwa maskini. Yeah. <coughs> she, he married from a poor, poor family. And funny thing, mm -hmm. you see them talking like that about people who are not poor. Yeah. You see, us is like poor, poor, bottom poor. <laughs> Ile bottom up poor. No. No. Faye, you can't compare us with some. I know. You can't even compare us with ch teachers' children. <laughs> what are you saying? As we are the hustlers children, like mutwa chini kabisa. To me to kambali. Yeah. Na, na, na. <laughs> na, na, so na, you would hear na, them na, saying that a particular person has followed that guy because of money. Yet that lady is also from a well-off family. You even wonder, guy, 
<laughs> they are saying not about that. Manza na mimi, hey! Utaachwa. The moment they realize you are from a, a middle whatever, utaachwa. Yeah, it's because no matter how much they try to stay away from your family, yeah. they will always be connected to it. Yeah. Sometimes they'll have to visit your family because you're married to them and they'll now have to come and see poverty. That's why they encourage their, their sons to marry from rich the, families. The rich families. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Because now they won't have to stress about you, their mother-in-law is <laughs> fainting somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but there's some really nice people who are still marry you and they build for your mother. Yeah. Like some wazungus I've seen. But at the same time, there's usually constant problems yeah. which they don't want to be involved in because sometimes it's because of bad financial decisions. <laughs> Mm. They want something that is not stressful. Mm. So you get somebody from a rich family. <laughs> At least you you have same problems. Yeah. When I could have a quite emotional mm. trauma. Imagine At least my, my mom re- refused to use the Range Rover. Oh my Who God, does that? I'm so traumatized. Who does that? You know my mom I'm not going to go back home. Me. At least I'm not going to go back home. She, she refused to send my upkeep. Yeah. I only have I only have two, $2,000 in my account. That is so, I don't feel safe. I'm so I'm so depressed. Kama ule mwenye alikuwa na pop pocket money sijui ni 300,000. Na alikuwa anasema it wasn't enough. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it was 300,000 like that is kid so, go. Imagine Who he was saying that. He was saying I can't even afford a money. Yeah. Ha? Hmm. Ati. Yeah, please. Oh please be careful when you're choosing your problems. <laughs> Some problems are just better left alone. <laughs> So if your rich boyfriend boyfriend leaves you and they say it's because you're from a poor family, don't take it personal. Just understand. I'm serious. I feel attacked. <laughs> understand because you're attacked. gonna bring all your family problems to them. You know, can you imagine you're in this rich family? Our where kids will come from now wealthy families. I know they yeah, understand. To watch it because even as poor people, if you get a poor person, me, I'm not poor. Okay, not <laughs> you. You're not poor right now. I'm just no, you're saying, saying as poor people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying like us that were poor, like like us that have come from very yeah. basic, yeah. you know, yeah. Jokes. places. Yeah, we also kuna wengine always stand what we come from poor places. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they they feel better. Utaki uko sasa. You don't want to go back. Utateswa. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, so hey, so just understand them when you see them marrying, like you see Ngina Kenyatta yeah. got married to the rich uh, guy yeah. that owns Karen, Karen Ojeva, yeah. country club. How, where, when, why? <laughs> like, uh, who else? Uh, June. June mm. was married to some Nigerian yeah. rich person. Yeah. Yeah. You just look around. Yeah. The rich kids are marrying each other. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's Mohoho or somebody's Kenyatta's are married to Moyes or what. Yeah. I had stories like that. Mm. By the way, when I was in the house, 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 I But you're going to be problematic to them. <laughs> You'll not understand what they are talking about. Yeah, now you might think wana kuchukia. <laughs> you might always feel like you're being hated, you don't fit in, yeah. you don't belong there, because mm. most of the stuff, they may not even involve you, because <laughs> uh, they don't see like you you earned much value. Or even if they involve you... Ni- Hi guys, welcome back to Naendelea na Mushene. Aha, Mushene Tamu, yenye iko na kasolt, na kasukari, na kasali. We are back again, and we are happy to see you. Mm. Asante ni kwa kusikiza story zetu. Si asante. Eh. Si asante. <laughs> Thank you. Eh. Simbarikiwe. Ingenka ya muradhi. Msalimwe, msalimwe sana. Muradhi mwe. Muno, mm. muno, muno. Mm. Yes. Yep. But they don't understand French, so you have to interpret. <laughs> <laughs> it's God bless you in mm-hmm. French. Yeah. Mm. Ile lugha pale on your way to um kitoko kiacha barabara ya Meru. <laughs> That's what we say. God bless you mm. in that language. Yep. So we were talking about how these rich kids <laughs> don't understand why you're sending your parents money, yeah. why your parents are even calling you, borrowing money mm. in the in the first place. They don't understand that kind of poverty. Their parents have always been taking care of them, mm. responsible, 
giving them all the life that they, they, they have ever wanted. And now you're here, eh, trying to send your parent money. Yeah. It is very shocking to them. They don't get it. They don't understand. Then they're usually just thinking about how my mom will help me, how my dad will help me, mom, mom, this, mom, that, mom, this, mom, that. But you, your brain is how I will help my mom. Yeah. Your mom is like you send me this, do this for me, do this, or your dad or your parents, do this for me, do this for me. So ah, that is one heck of a culture shock. Yeah. These people live the current right like our future lives. Zila Zanya now we are looking for money so that we can live at that very moment. They afford yeah. the best things, mm -hmm. they are driving the best cars, mm -hmm. they are wearing the most expensive uh, shoes, uh, clothes, they eat the, the best food, the food that we think is luxury, like uh, is expensive, to them sometimes they can't even look at it. Yeah. Because, ew. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. Sorry, that, that's the phone that, please try and fix it. Hi guys. Whoa. Oh, it's not. No, you've covered it now. Hey. Okay, let's go. There we go. Bora eh? I hope I took the camera. I hope I'm not to one. I'm not to checky. I'm not to checky. To now I checky. I'm not to checky, checky, checky. <laughs> so, what are we saying? We were saying how, how amazing it is to be a cool kid. <laughs> and to be born in a rich family. Yes. Well, it's super amazing. It's so subtle. You start life on a better silver platter. A better space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't have to go through Atikwenda kwa shamba. You don't have you don't, you don't even have to understand. In fact your shambas right? have these many workers. Yes. Hmm? So it is <laughs> there's important. even a manager. Mm -hmm. It is very important for a parent to make sure that you have enough wealth to bring that child on earth because uh, <laughs> at least too. you know it's good when you come in this world to enjoy not mm. to suffer yeah yeah you start with enjoyment mm. just have fun mm -hmm. live like be a child yeah yeah and uh, you just you know go to school come back home you're taken care of you don't have to worry about what is not there you don't have to worry about being beaten you don't have for not finishing that like, portion of lunch yes. you are left to finish you don't have to worry school. about water until there's mm -hmm. no water in the house yeah you don't have to worry about uh food mm -hmm. you always have someone making food for you uh you don't, you don't have, have to worry about going to shop in gikomba yeah. but then gikomba is i know it flourishes it uh, gikomba has built some people's lives and mm -hmm. careers some people are really wealthy because of gikomba yeah. but those are the ones that sell yeah. yeah. If you're selling clothes from the combined at any point you know it gives you money. Mm. But at the same time, I don't think there's any rich person that is shopping there. No, nope. they don't. Maybe they shop in now boutiques when you're in Metolewa, Germany through Gekomba. No, uh, uh, <laughs> they don't even buy the Gekomba clothes at all. No, our middle class. We are not talking about. But we are talking about ones. wealthy, wealthy, wealthy yeah. people. No, they don't do that. They don't even like to buy cheap, cheap they don't to do lock or boutiques somewhere yeah, in the river road or Mount Moy Avenue. Yeah, actually, they believe those clothes are been worn. And they don't <laughs> wear such. They're substandard. They don't wear <laughs> second hand clothes. So why would they do that? Hey, Jesus Christ. Yeah. So it's amazing. Hey. It's amazing growing up in such a setup. Mm. You know, because you you'll have. At least you you'll have a chance to be a child. Yeah. Yeah. And to experience childhood without worry. Mm. Yeah. Have 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 you ever had a place where somebody laughed at you because you shut up? Those rich rich kids. <laughs> Did they um, ever laugh at you? Mm. Besides your friend? <laughs> no. No? No. Me, they did. And if they did, I don't remember. There was this time I told somebody, uh, as a lawyer, mm. that I had come from court. Huh. Yeah, he was like, court? <laughs> what do you think <laughs> you've come from court? You took off your coat off or what? <laughs> I thought, no, no, no. I, uh, we had a, a case today. <laughs> that is what I was attending. Oh, like a lawyer? I told him, yeah. Oh, you mean court? Yeah. Kwani what did I say? Quote. You said quote. Quote the one for wearing. Yes. 
it's not good it's, it's cart yeah hey. yeah I, I think i have had such an experience but i don't remember the exact thing that i said mm. uh, but i was corrected and it wasn't in a very very nice way uh because it's like they had to shout it <laughs> and uh make sure that you know you don't say that it's not like that <laughs> say it again and they made me say it again and i didn't know that i was saying it wrong <laughs> Like I didn't know that it was wrong and I had to say it and they kept laughing and I was like why are you guys laughing and they told me to say it again and I said and they kept laughing and they were like anyway we were laughing because it's not supposed to be pronounced like that <laughs> it's this other way and I was like oh okay so okay, you guys are laughing at me so there's yeah. this time when wifi was new mm-hmm. it wasn't no not a lot of people had wifi like the way they have in the house right now yeah. like wifi was rare yeah. so we used this like a place we used to go me and my friend eh, yeah. to use wifi mm-hmm. to go and download things in any but the wifi was so new so if somebody used wifi if just using wifi they would mm-hmm. go telling everybody yeah i was using wifi mm-hmm. now you know we didn't know it was called wifi okay my friend went along to saying wifi <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, alienda kauliza mko na wifi. And others asking for mojito tatu. Si no. Si no. What's mo- mojito by the way? Mojito. Yeah, mojito. What's mojito? What it is. It's, it's a mixture of many drinks. Of many. So you yeah. go and specify and say what you want. Yes. <laughs> Now this person didn't know that mm. mojito is not like beer mm. that you 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 go and you know you're given three beers mm. you say bring three beers for your table mm-hmm. yeah they thought mojito was mm. like that like beers so you went to the counter and said eh tuleta mojito tatu mojito tuleta mojito tatu kai I think I've also been in such a situation. <laughs> Why am I forgetting? <laughs> you see these things, ah. you forget what you did to say that. Ah. Then when you go watch the video, like, okay, why didn't I say that? Yeah. Why didn't I say this other thing? Yeah. Ah, so annoying. Mm. Anyway, I watched uh, Jeff Koinange's uh, live interview and he was saying that uh, in this industry of uh, content creation and journalism mm-hmm. sometimes you'll forget things yeah. and you'll be watching it you'll be like my god why didn't i say why this didn't I why didn't i say this yeah. why didn't i say this but yeah. you didn't because you are not thinking about it at the, that very moment mm-hmm. but you have another chance you next, can't yeah don't worry next time you remember we'll do another one with okay. our friends and all that okay <laughs> <laughs> by the way we need to pre- start bringing guests I already have one. I actually I have one that wants to come. Which one? You don't oh. have to know them. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, okay, can we do it with them next time? Um, I'll have to confirm now. Okay, yes, you'll talk to them then. Actually, I was to talk to you if you're okay. Are you okay? I'm very well. I'm super okay. <laughs> no, like, if you're looking at me like and you're watching this video, I'm super like in capital letters. Even now. Okay. Please like, just come. You can just now. Can we call them? <laughs> like right now yeah. now 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 yeah. yep yeah so because we need to keep having these conversations they matter they matter they matter i'm gonna come with anybody i told you up and a letter kill them to the letter kill them yeah yeah we'll go visit all the walks yes yeah all of, to, to again now wow mm-hmm. you know we talk about maybe we are planning to talk to someone that got married at 16 yeah 16, 16. they got married I think they got married at 15. Because 16 is when they is got when the first got child. Yeah, the first child. Yeah. yeah. That's our own story, eh, guys. It's crazy. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah, and then there's so, another one that also got married. Actually, she was giving me stories and I was like, Rachel has not had that side of the story. Because <laughs> yeah. she mentioned at a place where, you know, Rachel was a very smart child. Huh? And she was beautiful. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who is that praising me? You see, I I need to go and you know pour you some flowers. You are a very beautiful person. You are a very beautiful. And I was like, 
That is new. I think I already know it was. And she was like, Ununa yoku ngea recho? Alikuwa kawembe. She was smart. Alikuwa tuwa naenda hivi. So, msimuona te ni kama mianzo kuongea leo. No, she was always like that. I was always talking. You are not talking like you would catch things so fast. Oh. Yeah. I'm sharp. Yeah. Guys. Ndiyo inakusumbu wangu. By then, let me tell you. I have zero patience. <laughs> I don't have any patience in me. I think that's why you see me moving a lot because yeah. I'm like I need this done yeah. and done with and can we move to the next thing yeah. there? Now, eh, at your house, you mm. need to I need to talk to that person. Yeah. You can't start revealing these things to me right now. No, you we should have said these things in the beginning of the video. Hey. Lazima to sufficient CV bana. Hey. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, please. so that's that's Guys, so many stories are coming. So I know many. you're gonna enjoy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tuta nunulia kahawa. Tuta tafuta mwalimu wa maths pia. Atuambie shida yake ilikuwa ni kama yeye ni mchawi. You know, anakukas ni kama umemkosea ati utaenda mahali. Kwani huko mahali ni kwake? Uh, I think walimu wa maths ni venye tu wanaonanga ni kama they were the smartest. Because <laughs> they were maths. Now they would now understand things. Mm, they had and they had things that we are finding hard to understand mm. and now they're like why would you wanna go jinga evo so that's why they were like that and then mostly you would find that their children were not even smart so they were bitter i feel like they were bitter <laughs> yes so they would now project that bitterness towards our toto wana speleka we wali muamaz tume wanau eh tumejua nini ilikuwa inawakula wapi watoto wenu na results za maths we want to see <laughs> You stop coming to bring us bitterness. You need to heal. Na mtu atusalimia kwa them, mwambie tunamtaka hapa. Lakini shida kwa them might charge us. Wey, hii sitaweza kulipa kwa them billions. I know. I don't even have subscribers, but kwa them 50 subscribers are enough. That is en- <laughs> That is enough audience. Why do you need more people? You see, but when it comes to this show, we are gonna shoot to ten thousand subscribers. But I like her energy. I just like. I wish. I wish she was my mom. I wish we can just sit down with Akode and have a chat. I just love her spirit. She's crazy. I'm always arguing with her online. I stopped anyway on Facebook. I used to really argue with her because there there were things I I was not agreeing with, but there were things I was agreeing with. But with her, cause there you do not have. She does not care whether you agree or not. <laughs> she just excites me. You're like the most so much in her circle. <laughs> yeah, so much energy. Like, what is this? She is also a shame. Yeah. So you cannot shame her, cause there she's already. <laughs> she's like you know here comes some shame, and she's like no, I got <laughs> mine. She will even, she will even correct you on your daku. Yeah. Eh, she will come and tell na 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 see you ever. It go even which is more even embarrassing. Yeah. But she doesn't care. Who <laughs> were crazy, crazy lady. She's amazing. <clears throat> Anywho. So, uh, what more? What more? Tulikuwa tumebakisha wapi? <sighs> Tulikuwa tumesema tu venye ni muhimu mm-hmm. kila mtu atafute pesa. Yeah. Alee mtoto bila struggles. Mm. Eh, na kama unaona ni kama una struggle acha tu akae uko kwa magoti and ile sikutajiweza <laughs> but me one thing i like about these rich kids and rich people mm. is how they carry themselves around they are sophisticated mm. they have class mm. they have manners they have courtesy they know you how know. to behave when <laughs> yeah. and at what time and mm-hmm. what not to say absolutely where. <laughs> they are they are they are kind where yeah. they're supposed to be kind and they are ruthless <laughs> where they're supposed to be <laughs> yo they can they be mean, mean. Where? where they need to be mean kwanza when they feel like you're being you know you're overstepping mm-hmm. hey you will know <laughs> who are you my friend if they know something about you utapelekwa nyumbani with the information they have. oh before i forget Uh, I discovered this musician eh alikuwa anaitwa Masego 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 that Jamaican eh is a Jamaican musician he sings with saxophone yeah so I really loved his songs I was shown by one of the rich kids while we were having a party then I didn't bother to ask about their pronunciation Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> that one. Ta-da! 
yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not by the way, I have a mix of my channel. Mm. Yeah, Masego. He has many, Anita many, Masego. many. Wait. <laughs> so <laughs> one day, see we are having Mary. So we told you about cheers. So we told you about fun. Like with rich kids, you can party until you die. So it is party after party after party. It after is party. until you sit down and call yourself that <laughs> committing. You're like, yo, <laughs> yeah, I have detached. <laughs> there will be a party <laughs> today. There will be a party tomorrow. There will be a party even the other day. Even the other day, there will be a party because they are not employed. Their fathers are the employers, so they don't get employed. Then they start their own businesses and their own offices. Yeah. So <laughs> you're there. On Monday, you're supposed to go look for work somewhere Uko River Road, and you're cheers you. Anyway, <laughs> there was this courage kid, eh? so you know now we are, we are happy, excited, so you're I told him, fun. Yeah, I told her, uh, hey, check this out. Uh, I really like this song from Masego. Masego. Uh -huh. I was like, who is Masego? Who is Masego? I showed her, and she was like, oh, Masego. <laughs> and you're like, where is it? I was like, what Which do you is mean? Silent? She was like, yeah, it's Masego. It's not Masego. <laughs> oh no, what is the G? Why did they have to put the G there? You see, if the G was not there, I was gonna just gonna say Masego. Yeah. Hmm? Now you've put the G just to stress me so that I can say it and you laugh. Anyway, it's Masego, guys. It's Masego. It's balance, baby. Masego. Yeah. It's not Masego. Also, when uh, there was a place I played some music, yes, you know, those that person knew me and they knew I was from Shags. So I played this house music that they didn't think I knew. Mm. So they were like, eh, who showed you that mess? <laughs> who showed you that music? There's no way you can know that music. Well, <laughs> <laughs> See, see, is of it on a chest that no, that you must have been shown by who showed you. Whoa. <laughs> Imagine they look down on you, and at that time you're like, <coughs> Oh my god, no, I didn't even bother. <coughs> Usually, I learned how to brush it off while laughing, yeah, but deep down, I know that has hurt me, and I'm not gonna forget it, yeah. So that's why I've never forgotten it until today, yeah, because you know, they they bullied me like that. I love that thing. About us, you know, we are drinking very salty water, mm. so our teeth are discolored. <laughs> and because you have been used to it, guys, let me smile. Hey, there's a time. <laughs> hey, there's a hey. time. Hey, hey, they will just come walk up to you and ask you, hey, madam, what's up? Why can't you just go see a dentist? Actually, there's it's so some, easy. I was told that you would look so beautiful with some white teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> okay. By the way, when I cleaned my teeth, now that is when I started getting compliments, eh? compliments from people. Hey, you have such a beautiful smile. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> I actually I can't believe. If you noticed, personally, I never used to smile in yeah. all my pictures. Yeah. I was I always like, smile. At a mimi. I used to I'll be like, just that. like this. Yeah. But it's smile, so it, smile. <laughs> smile. You just change your look. Can't you see I'm smiling? <laughs> smile, I'm smiling, guys. I'm smiling. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because why? My friend, it was hard small. They are just wondering, why can't you just go see a dentist? But you, you're used to that life. Yeah. You're not even thinking about actually, it. Actually, others, that some these cool people, they'll think actually it has some, some infection. Mm. They'll be like, how, why, why, you know, they'll be so concerned. They'll be like, is it painful? <laughs> <laughs> but there's some really nice to, to rich kids eh? that mm. will see you like you're, you're behaving as if you're not fitting in mm. yeah and they'll walk up to you yeah. and they'll come and ask you why are you acting like this yeah. why are you not happy <coughs> we are here mm. to have to have fun we are here to make merry why are you just chilling and not talking to yeah. anyone and why are you sitting alone actually yeah. I, I had that also. Mm. I would just go and then you're like I really don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't about. know. Yeah, these guys yeah. are talking about you are Trump. Yeah. Well, we can talk about Trump fine. But now they're talking about you are party they were yeah. yet in Miami. Yes. Where the hell is Miami? So, yeah, so you're like the only Miami I know is Miami. <laughs> so most of the time you'd find yourself nodding. Yeah. Because like, okay. you don't know. Yes. 
yes zingine zinakupita you like yes mm-hmm. and then you're like man i can't contribute in your know, this <laughs> so can i leave and they'll be like faith where are you going what's wrong with you come here and yeah. then you're like no i'm here now so what are we talking about the funny thing when you open up and start talking yeah. if you're an interesting person they will be so interested in your stories yeah. <laughs> they will be like why were you silent all this time and then you could talk <laughs> And yeah, you guys are scared of the English and the things you're talking about. What do you mean you are with Biden, Zamani, Biden? So guys, uh, there was a time uh, one of one of the family members, someone, some some cool kids, they used to talk this English in a pote huko. So, uh, you anakuja na kwambia, anakome, hi faith, you want to hi faith, everything else goes. So I have to ask, I have to ask, yo, what was he saying <laughs> you know <laughs> the first first time and then the english was so fine in akunywa uko you know and now they will be like ah wamesema hivi na hivi so i learned now to be very attentive to listen at least ni shike 50 or 70% <laughs> yeah yes <laughs> it's not funny <laughs> <laughs> no, that was Kitambo. That was mm. when I just came in Nairobi. Yeah. So cool. Yo, in fact, I hear Amzungu better than I hear yes. Black Americans. So they me. are so, especially the ones with very dark. I'm just talking this basic Kizungu Junapu. Yeah. Ju- by the way, we're going to do By the way, we're going to do it. To kia mua kongia Kizungu apa. You people, <laughs> you are just pretending. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. we can we can really Sometimes we can really we change to... we can really change and yeah. you know start speaking well and you wouldn't even know that you're from embu yeah, yeah. i'm like you know uh, last last summer i was uh, <laughs> you see when the summer is refused <laughs> okay guys <laughs> the summer is not summary oh my god i'm so sorry what Yeah, anyway. I think I need a hug need or a some hug. therapy or I think uh, can you validate me? <laughs> Do you need some water? No, I don't need water. It's not water. Mm. It's water. Are you? <laughs> okay, it's, ma- it's, it's, not it's, it's not matter. It's not matter. It's ma. I'm not Rakeri, I'm Raka. <laughs> it's not Kenya. It's Ke- <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's not night. It's night. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> this <laughs> night balance. <laughs> hey. 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 You have to level up. Hey. I don't know. <laughs> For some reason you just have. To. We are not complaining. We are just saying it's a whole different perspective. It's just interesting. It's, <laughs> it's just very fun. It's so fun, but I I would uh, I would want if you find yourself in such a situation, don't act Uh, with pride don't be act as if you know everything <laughs> sit down learn you don't know everything if yeah. you've not been on a plane to Miami just please sh- shut up a bit <laughs> learn some stuff from these people before you get there yeah they are, yeah just imagine while well, they're talking about the the trips and everything just imagine they you know one thing about them they give like detail to detail to detail mm. they'll tell you how they left and how to do the important how they just imagine mm. <laughs> just like be in the meditative mode just imagine okay now we are in the airport okay after that to my fix yeah so anyway. it's interesting to to see such things you know how they relate yeah. how they talk to each other mimi niliona ni kama wako very caring with each other mm. to each other they are the ones i interacted with by the way i don't want to let me not mention them because mm. it's not good yeah. but there's some celebrities i have met and they are really nice so yeah, nice yeah. like up close and yeah. more close enough mm. he was zore yeah, was zore sana and it's funny how they think he was this amazing human mm. you know out of nowhere they're like oh you know they they feel like they they feel like you're one, one of them <laughs> until you talk And no, even like, after you talk, actually, they don't judge you. Eh? Maybe yeah, even they you don't, don't have English or no? They don't. Ooh. Or maybe they no, they don't. Me, I've met people that don't judge you. Mazo na ngai kizungu, but they are just okay. They even listen. They, you know, they like okay. Wana kuskiza tu pole pole. Mhm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Because they're just nice. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, yeah, right now it's easy to interact with all those people because mm. over time we've learned to to mesoma, to kajua how to interact with them, you know, what to do here and then there and over there. Yeah. I think I think uh cool kids are needed. <laughs> <laughs> there are people that you need because they come to help some of some people. If you look at you it know? anyway, you also you can yeah. also teach them something. Yeah, like it's like it's but it's about win win situation. Mm. Yeah. Because you teach them what you know and then you also learn from what they're exposed to. Yeah. Yeah. Overall it's so much fun except the part where now you decide to changa for Muzinga. <laughs> And they are giving fifteen thousand. No, fifty. Kill them talk on it. Is everybody okay with it, guys? Are you guys okay with forty five k each? <laughs> That's not even in my bank. What do you mean, forty five thousand? Kwani muna nunua pombe. Kwani unless tuna fungua liquor store. You see. <laughs> Yeah, that and spirit sour. <coughs> but now we are going to buy drinks for everybody and we are changai for the yeah. eh, eh, see your info, yeah. see your info. Just and just, actually just, the moment you act like it's like you're not comfortable, the all eyes are on you. Yeah. How are you not comfortable? So there was that thing, yeah, peasant. Yeah. This one will always stress us every time we go out. She does they so just they want to drink <laughs> our own <laughs> call for free yeah so they're just not gonna invite you yeah mm. so you have to level up <laughs> you have to level up yeah anyway what's the point of having a burden when you guys want to have fun every yeah, time yeah. you want to pay for something it's a burden yeah. they don't have anything Can you, imagine? Mm? You, you can't if say you don't, even, <laughs> you don't even have a car <laughs> like if there's an emergency you have to ask for a lift <laughs> like yo <laughs> <laughs> they want to changa and go book uh like as friends yeah in fact they they want to go and book some five star hotel in Tiani hmm? and uh, you don't have money yeah. they're asking for 200k uh, each <laughs> and you don't have yeah so you're there like where see you nika vitskale kadogo kama kametumiwa vizuri huko Kenya na uko shago like, okay. When you're there hanging out with them, alafu jioni when it's time to go home, where kitu na tafuta ni nani atakupea lift. And they're like, <laughs> by the why way, why are you stressing <laughs> us? Una tafuta mwenye anaenda ndio ya unaenda. Yeah. Who's going? Who's passing through town to are drop me in CBD? <laughs> Guys, they hate that. They don't like they it. They don't at all. like that. It's it's, it's personal. It's, you're invading yeah. their personal space and yeah. you're being a burden. Actually, if you go to hang out with if you're invited by a cool kid, please don't talk to their friends about lifts. Yes. It is embarrassing. Wrong. It is it's embarrassing wrong. and you're gonna be in trouble because of that. Cause why are you walking to th- it's not even courtesy according to them. Yeah. You you walk all the way to their friend. To tell them at hey, can I get a lift? Yeah? Hey, let me not... Who mention, are you? Let me not say what happened to me. <laughs> but that happened to me, guys. I almost cried. Like, I cried the entire way. Yeah? <laughs> there was this party. asked for, for, for a lift. Eh? From a fr- their friend. Nili somewa kama mtoto mdogo. Why would you do that? You should have asked me. You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. I was like, guy, you peasant. Imagine, and it is something we usually, sissy peasants, we, peasants, we usually do it. It's so easy. In fact, the one of the guys is the one asking you. Are you going to Tao? I can drop you off there. 